smaller projects from time to time, but when, when I got to the point where we were really going to do this entire exhibition about DC Comics, I realized I was not going to do it alone. So I reached out to these guys and said, you know, let's collaborate on this thing and make it happen. Yeah. Awesome. How's uh, Jim's Batmobile looking so far, guys? Do we, we want to so we change the, the front at all? Do we want to put anything on the front? Front's a little blunt, so... What? It needs a bat. Insignia on the front, I think that would be cool. A battering ram? Is that yes. A battering yeah. ram. Yeah. Technical <laughs> term. Alright, Tommy, uh, what did you think when Nathan came up to you and, and proposed this project? I actually have a role that's a little bit different from Brandon's. Mm -hmm. um, we, like, same thing happened with me. Nathan's like, I want to talk to you about something. So we all went to dinner at the Killer Shrimp in Green Dover. <laughs> <laughs> Signed an NDA, <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted to incorporate some animation into this exhibit. So um, I did a an animation that, that he saw last year. He liked a lot, uh, it was kind of superhero related. Is that what it is? And, uh, you know, it was Batman. Batman's in it. I'll say that much. You can look for it. If you look for goodbrickner.com/studios, you can see what I did. And if you come to the panel on Saturday. Saturday, the original panel on Saturday, you can actually see the, the, the video. Um, he wanted to incorporate some animation into it, but it sounded like a great idea to me, so I've been working on it since what, March? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Pretty much nonstop. If I've got circles under my eyes, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> I see Jim has changed the front of the Batmobile. Oh, very nice. If anybody wants to step up, we're going to do some uh, question and answering as well for any of our panelists. Uh, but if anybody wants to step up to the mic with any suggestions, uh, I'm sure Jim would love to hear them from you. Sure, I'd love yes. to make as many revisions as possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nathan, have you ever done an exhibition with animation before, or is this the, the first time that you're doing something like that? I've done some smaller stuff, but this is the first time we've really engaged in doing something like this. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited to debut this stuff when the exhibition opens this fall. Yeah. Now, you have been doing art with LEGO for a very long time, and it kind of hit me yesterday when I was thinking about the panel and the discussion we we're going to have today. It's not just, it's not just sculpture, right? There, there is a pragmatic, practical kind of element that this stuff has to stand up. It all has to click together. It can't topple over. It can't fall apart. It's kind of like architecture and structure kind of joining forces in a way, right? Yeah, I, I think when you're sculpting with Lego bricks, there is a bit of engineering that comes with it. And that's just natural because you're using these tiny pieces to create these larger forms. And uh, we, I mean, everyone on this panel can talk to building with Lego bricks. It's, there are times when it just doesn't click and you have to find a different way to do it. Uh, but that's the magic of using the brick. It's that, that perfect medium to just kind of express what's in your imagination. Right. Yeah. Now you glue all of the pieces together.